we must learn to rule over our spirit in order to have success. Proverbs 16, verse 32 says, He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. We know from Revelation 1, verse 6, that we are called to be kings and priests to our God. A king is the highest position in a country. Priest is the highest position in the religious sector of that country. The king rules the government of whatever country he is the head of. The priest would rule in the church, or you could say the religious system of that country. Before we could be promoted by God to rule over a country or over a church, God is telling us we must perfect the rulership of our own spirit. This is what will bring everything into our lives into decency and in order. Doing everything decent, decently and in order is the fruit of a person who has rule over their spirit. Amen. The things of our spirit are the things that flow from the hidden place of our heart. They are the things like the meditations of our heart, the thoughts of our minds, our imaginations, our internal desires. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, as the proverb says. I want to read this, this passage. You know, I'm, I'm amongst saints who study the word well. These passages are very familiar to you guys. And, and some of them, a lot of the other speakers have quoted already. But uh, please uh, just listen to, in, in the light of this word I'm sharing, uh, these passages of, of the word of God. James 3, verse 1. My brethren... Let not many of you become teachers, King James says, masters, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Even though all of us here may not see ourselves as called to be teachers, or as King James says, masters, uh, there's a principle here with becoming a teacher, that James is saying, that applies to us all. The principle is we must first master our tongue, James is saying. Whoever doesn't stumble in word would be that perfect man. Oh, 